Honorable Srimati <coughs> Nirmala Sita Ramanji to reply the discussion. So thank you very much, sir, and I thank all the members, seven of them who have spoken on the bill. Uh, it is a small, uh, uh, it's a small uh, uh, amendment, technical amendment, but essentially, the law which existed since 1931, for which is called the Provisional Collection of Taxes Bill 2023, is what is essentially coming in this form now. There are no major changes at all to this uh, uh, bill. Uh, as it existed if, since 1931, we carry forward. But then, why are we bringing here? It is uh, part of the larger uh, uh, relook at all the bills, so that any colonial past residues are in these acts. We want to remove them and make them reflective of modern India, the new India that we are trying to build. And in this, this particular bill is very essential. Even uh, before it was essential, it will be essential even now. Why is it essential, sir? Sir, um, <clears throat> that partly also answers the question raised by Sri Amar Patnaik. When taxes are levied during the budget, sir, and it becomes a part of the finance bill, the finance bill along with the budget gets introduced and read out to the House on 1st February every year. But post that, the parliament committees, parliament itself, both Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha discuss it. Rajya Sabha returns it after being passed by the Lok Sabha. But there is a certainty about it in that every proposal, for instance, on the direct tax, which is income tax, let us say, when uh, brought in through the finance bill, gets effective from 1st April, that is the new financial year. Whereas, there are taxes which are also levied in the name of customs duties and also excise, which are taxes levied on goods and services. Now, having announced it along with the finance bill in 1st February, if we wait till the effective financial year, 1st April, that period in between the gap can lead to a lot of speculation can lead to a lot of, uh, you know, exploitation in terms of uh, goods which are kept in some place and so on. So, we start the collection of tax from the midnight of that day itself. Otherwise, the speculation can hurt the market. Speculation can lead to customers suffering from it. And export-import at the port can be misused. So, that in uh, very common language is the purpose of this provisional collection of taxes bill. As it is, to levy taxes, sir, Article 265 of the Constitution provides that no tax shall be imposed unless or levied or collected unless there is an authority of law. That authority of law, with a law that is passed by this House, August House, is the one which will empower the government to collect the tax. It is this law, which is the Provisional Collection of Taxes Bill, which when passed as law, which existed as law, which exists till today, is the one which gives that authority to the government. Now, why do we want it provisionally? Meaning, anyway the finance bill is going to get passed in the House, and once it is passed, it becomes uh, complete authority you can collect. But in the medium, uh, in the middle, interregnum, why do you want a provisional authorization? As I said, it is only because we want to avoid speculation. And during the period of introduction and enactment of the bill, customs or central excise duty, where such duty rates, for instance, are increased beyond a statutory rate or and then gets approved by the parliament, in between, when you go to collect it, there can also be a questioning of authority. You've increased it, the parliament has not passed it. After it's passing, it will come into effect only from 1st April. How are you coming to collect it? So I need that legislative backing 
for collecting the customs duty from that midnight itself of the budget presentation. That is why, sir, the reasons again which I would like to underline are to provide tariff protection to domestic industry. Sometime you want to protect the Indian industry, you bring it with immediate effect, then they would say, well, how did you bring it with immediate effect unless there is a legislation which I can invoke. So, it is to protect the domestic industry on an immediate basis, moderate prices, meaning when the prices are going up, I need to moderate it, I need some immediate action, so I come up with taxation. And also, as I said earlier, to avoid speculation in the market. Oh, today the announcement has been made, it will come into effect only from 1st April. In the meanwhile, I can hoard the goods. This should be avoided. That is why, sir, we have always relied on this provisional tax collection, but it also has one uh, uh, redeeming factor, and that is whatever is done here will have to be, that which is brought immediately with sense of urgency, will have to be approved by the parliament within 75 days. So then, within 75 days, when that is approved, I can go ahead collecting it further, like the way I've done during the interregnum. But if that approval doesn't come, it also tells you that you have to refund the money back. So this provisional collection has its own safeguards. At the same time, gives authority to the government, legislative authority to the government, to collect, to avoid speculation, to control prices, to avoid also uh, illegal practices, such as hoarding and speculation, and so on. So that is as simple as it. This is the purpose of this bill. I would like to submit to your uh, consideration and to the House's consideration so that it gets passed. Sir, there's just one uh, the response that I would like to give beside the con uh, whatever is contained in the bill. Amar Patnaik ji seems to have asked, why are you coming up with a separate bill? It can be a part of the finance bill itself. So I want to say the very explanation that I've given here is the reason why it can't be part of the finance bill and wait for it to get cleared till 1st April. Wait for it to get cleared when the second half of the budget session happens, when after the committee meetings and everything else, I come to the House to get it passed. Again, that interim period will go without any cover for the collection, and that is why it can't be done through the finance bill. It has to be a separate act. And also, uh, he said, uh, uh, why would you want to introduce it in the middle of the night? Why can't it be the next day? The same thing, sir. Once the new sun rises the next day, it will also give them more time for speculation. So I hope uh, that addresses the concern raised by the Honourable. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> the question is that the provisional collection